Uh, okay. I, I just got one thing to say. And I know... I know there's going to be some... I, there might be some flack for this. But... Okay. My thing with games is... It's just that... We just kind of buy games... And we don't check whether or not we actually think we're going to like them or not. Does that make any sense? So, for example, with Modern Warfare 2, right? There was so much hate on the game from the beta. People say, oh, there's no slide canceling. There's not going to be a movement skill gap. The TTK is too fast. I'm going to be able to play the game. Then why buy it? Like, are we just robots stuck in a, a, an, end, an everlasting system that just buy the same games every single freaking year? Like, I know I did the exact same thing with 2K. However, I waited. I waited until the very moment that the game looked appealing to me. And I still have not bought Modern Warfare 2. I still haven't. The game doesn't look appealing to me. I could care less about slide canceling. I care less about the TTK. The game just looks dry to me, personally. So I just decided not to buy it yet. However, what I did say is I will play Warzone 2. Try it, see if I like the movement mechanics, see if I like the feel of the game. And if I like the feel of the game, I will purchase it. That's how it should be. In my opinion, I feel like game companies are hella shady for not dropping demos, not dropping betas. I mean, I know most game companies do drop closed betas and open betas and things like, thing like that, but I think any game company that doesn't, that should be your sign that this game isn't what it's gonna be. If they're not willing to drop a closed beta or an open beta, then I feel like that's a red flag and you shouldn't buy the game. Now, I know COD did, and I didn't play it, but I'm just saying, I think that if you didn't get access to the beta or you didn't get access to this and the game doesn't look appealing to you, then just don't purchase the game. It's not going to hurt you to not purchase the game and wait to purchase it later. It doesn't hurt you at all to do so. Whether you get called a Christmas noob or not, you just need to grow up and take the insult. It doesn't matter. You were never going pro anyway. And that's another issue that I have with games. Not everyone is going pro. Just so you know, you're not going pro. Your 50 kills in a TDM lobby, or your 50 kills in a domination lobby, and your 50 kills in that, if you're not sitting there making, um, recording videos, or this, this, that, and the third, all you're doing is ruining your SBMM for the next game. Just being honest. So there's no need to overly sweat and use the same gun every single game. Even though you already have a goal, there's just no point. Just none. Zero. Zilch. Nada. And I understand it might be fun to go for 50 kills. But you know what also is fun? Doing challenges. Like, for example, if you're playing with your friends. Running around trying to no-scope the entire game. Seeing how many kills you get. Things like that are also fun, or running around in core with a poorly built pistol. Things like that are fun. Not just running around nuking the entire map over and over and over and over and over again. Now that's fun a couple of times, but it gets really boring whenever you do it so often that you just become numb to it. Now I know what you're gonna say. Skill issue. Oh my god. Skill issue. Skill issue. No, it's not really a skill issue. It's just the fact that I have quite literally watched Call of Duty shoot itself in the foot because people choose to sweat every single game like they have any money to earn. Knowing good and very well, you live in your mom's basement, you have $20 to your name, and you're literally a mistake in life. Um, that's a little harsh, but it's true. I just don't, I don't understand the whole purpose of sweating every single game like you're going to gain some money. You're not. 
I'm sorry, Timmy. I don't I don't know what to tell you. You're playing on a 20 uh uh 70 inch TV, bro. You're not going pro. Um I know this sounds like I'm being salty, but I am slightly because I wish Call of Duty was just a tad bit more fun, but it's not gonna get more fun because people are just gonna continue to sweat. And as long as people are sweating in Call of Duty, Call of Duty will not be fun. Um, but with that being said, I will be playing Warzone 2 whenever Warzone 2 drops. I think it drops in like, let's see, the day that I, the day that I upload this video, I haven't decided when I'm going to upload this video, but it's like, I think it's six days from the day I recorded this video, which is Sunday the 13th. Um, so I think it will be, uh, if, if it's, if it, if it goes live on Friday, I'm promise you, I, I won't play it that day, but I'll play it Saturday. Um, but yeah, so I think that what needs to be taken from the current debacle with the split community of Modern Warfare 2 is the fact that what we need to start doing is we need to start playing betas. And if we don't like the game during the beta, not purchasing the game until we see something we like. Okay. Okay, that's the only advice I have for you guys right now. Um, with that being said, this is your boy Aiden. Oh, this is your boy Aiden, aka Drizzy. And I'm out. Peace out.